Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for a new unboxing and review. Today it's Vision from WandaVision. I'm really happy you are starting to get figures from the Marvel series. And hopefully Scarlet Witch is not far away. So first let's talk about the box. It's a rather large box for a normal figure like Vision, but I suppose it's because of the background that comes with this figure. So I really like the design of this box. You have Vision in the middle. On the sides you have the hex that Wanda created on Westview. Then you have the title of the series and the name of the character. On the side, you can see the logo of Vision. Then at the back, you have the usual product information, and you can see a picture of Westview. On the other side, you have another logo of Vision, along with the name of the figure. And then when you remove the first part of the box, you can see the figure. And at the back, you can see different pictures of the series, and I really love this. So, let's open this and take a look at the accessories. There are barely any accessories, but since it's vision, I can understand that. Though, I think considering the size of the box, there was enough space to include the chair from the promotional pictures, that could have been a cool accessory to have. The display base features the symbol of Vision, which is the top of his head where the Mind Stone is. You also have the name of the series, an X effect, and the name of the character. So it's a simple base. The stand is a dynamic one, like this. So be careful with that, this type of stand can damage your figure quite quickly. So I'll drop a link to my video about how to avoid damaging your figures with dynamic stands in the description down below. The figure has six hands, though there is one thing missing, it's the ring. In WandaVision, Vision has a wedding ring. It's a little detail they missed. So there are two wide open hands. Two open hands. And two fist hands. Finally, there is a backdrop. It represents the X opening. The hex part is made of plastic, while behind it's made of cardboard. It cannot be bent, thus it is why the box of a figure is so large. So it does take some space if you want to use it in your display, though this is a pretty good backdrop. I will definitely use it for my display, it will look even better once the Scarlet Witch figure is released. So now let's take a look at the figure. This is the first Vision figure I get. I don't have the Avengers Age of Ultron version, so I can't make any comparison. Anyway, I think Hot Toys has done a great job with this figure. The outfit uses a fabric similar to the black and gold suit of Spider-Man, so that means you can't leave the figure in the same action pose for a long period of time. I recommend displaying the figure in a neutral pose or giving it an action pose for some time, then reverting to a neutral pose for some time before giving it another action pose. The feet are separated from the rest of the boots, which allow full range articulation. On the boots, they added a piece of armor with a subtle matte metallic feel. 
wife of gauntlets and the piece on the torso, they gave it a vibrant metallic feel. I really like how we can see the muscles on his torso and even on the shoulders. The cape is beautifully detailed and it also has wires inside, which is always great for posing. Because if you give your figure an action pose, the cape can also be posed and that will look better. It makes me wonder why Superman from Justice League doesn't have that. I mean, especially a Superman figure. So I'm really glad that a figure like Vision has that feature. The head sculpt is simply fantastic. Look at this. It has a lot of details. And if you look closely at the eyes, you can even see that they painted the lenses. It is a beautiful work. You can clearly recognize Poe Bettany there. And the silver paint is more matte than shiny, which is how it should be. In terms of articulation, the head and neck are separated, so the head has a bigger articulation range, which is better for flight poses. So he can look up, look slightly down, and then look on its side. As for the rest of the body, you can move the arms like this, like this, the hand can move, you can slightly move the torso, you can also move the legs like this, like this, and the feet can move. So now let's see some poses. This is a great figure with a fantastic head sculpt. It doesn't come with many accessories, view it includes a pretty good backdrop to use for your display. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!